So this is my first time trying to preach to people in two places. So I may just do a little back, looking back and forth. I feel like there have been so many times over the past however many years that in getting ready to preach a sermon, it feels like the world is particularly broken this week. That as if somehow the brokenness of this moment is bigger and heavier and harder than all the broken moments that have come before. There have been so many this weeks. The world sometimes feels formless and chaotic all over again, and I want God to whisper over this chaos, let there be peace and light. And the litany of brokenness, if we watch the news, can weigh heavy. And the sins that we see of this damaged world can make us feel helpless. But today we celebrate. We celebrate the baptism of Jesus and the baptism of Freddie. John the Baptist has been hanging out in the wilderness outside of Jerusalem. He has been doing his very best on the banks of the Jordan River. He can see all of these people coming with their brokenness and their sadness. And he knows that he is not enough to fix it all, but he says someone is coming. Someone is coming, he says, perhaps to them and perhaps to himself as over and over again, sin after sin, broken person after broken person comes and he holds them, standing there waist deep in the Jordan and dipping them down and saying, you're forgiven. And maybe at night he lays down and looks up at the stars that God spoke into being at the beginning of creation. Maybe he lays there and looks up at the stars, knowing that the next day there will be another throng of hurting people, hungry for peace and forgiveness. And maybe he whispers to himself again, someone else is coming. Someone is coming who can do more than point and weep. Someone is coming who can reach deep into this broken world and heal it. At the baptism of Jesus, this voice of God that was there at the beginning, this voice of God that shakes the cedar trees, breaks through the heavens. And as Jesus rises up through the water, the Holy Spirit cannot contain itself and comes fluttering and shimmying down like a dove. And Jesus is baptized. And in a few minutes, we are going to baptize Freddie. And knowing the state of our roof, we are hoping that the Holy Spirit does not rend it completely open and come down. But we know that the Spirit of God is present in this place. Today, we name that Freddie is part of the Christian family, this weird family of faith, this body of Christ, becoming a follower of Jesus and a lover of love. And in this body, we do all sorts of crazy things. We practice love and hope and forgiveness. We wake up the next day and love and hope and forgive again. And today we name something that is already true. We name the infinite belovedness of every child of God. And we name that this journey that we are on is impossible without God's help. We promise today to the best of our ability to show Freddie how to love strong and bravely in a world that is torn to shred with greed and racked with sadness. And like John the Baptist, we can see and name, but not fix the deep brokenness of this world. And like John the Baptist, we can still hear echoes of the formless void threatening to come back. And it feels some days like God is far away, but the God who tears open the heavens and comes down like a bird does not understand our obsession with separation. God calls out, I am so pleased. God is full of delight and a voice that is powerful enough to break cedar trees and makes the oaks rise, says love, says joy, and says goodness. The thing is we have never once as a church welcomed someone into the body of Christ when the world was perfect. We have never once welcomed someone into the body of Christ when there was not a hurting people. We have always proclaimed the good news of love in a world shattered by fear. So welcome, Freddie. May you grow in wisdom and strength, and may you learn with us, and may you teach us 
how to look at a world that has always teetered at the edge of grief and sadness with gentleness and curiosity. May you grow in wisdom and strength and may you learn with us and may you teach us how to never deny or minimize the pain of suffering in this world, but still see redemption. May you grow in wisdom and strength and may you learn with us and may you teach us how to look up towards the heaven as they tear open and hear the voice of God. And may you walk in the tender path of love and remember that you are beloved and that someone has come, someone who does more than point and weep. Someone has come who does more than just stand by and name. Someone has come who is reaching into this broken world and healing it. Amen.